Raisin 3 and Philly fans, how are you? I have a treat for you today. Yes, I do. So stay tuned. You get to see what we're doing today. Stay tuned. Raisin 3 and Philly coming back at you. I'll do my other Hello, this is your lady Talia, you Talia, and today I have my husband with me. But before I introduce you who he is, you all know that I'm raising three in Philly, um, me and the kids, and we're going to tell you what we're doing today and why we're doing it. And look at my apron. Ha 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 ha. T-Mobile, yes. All right. Yo, peeps. Y'all probably refer to me as Five Star, but today I am B, and I am not just a chef. I'm not a master chef. I'm not an iron chef. I need that. Um, today we are going to cook something really, really special. Um, I love this dish. Um, a lot of people call it biscuits and gravy. Um, but it's gonna be in our variant because I know y'all gonna be like, well, that's not how you make biscuits and gravy. You know, where, where's the where's the ingredients at? Where's the normal ingredients? Well, guess what? You know, cooking is all about creativity and being able to um, be able to take stuff that you have in your refrigerator and put put it together. You know, experiment. So, things we need for our sausage, biscuits, and gravy is, of course, we need, uh, did not have it out, <laughs> we have our biscuits, I'm not going to try to, you know, show it off what brand, uh, we need that. Now, everybody says, oh, well, you need breakfast sausage. I don't have breakfast sausage, so I'm using these chicken apple flavored uh, sausages. Should, should go pretty well with it. Um, personally, myself, I tried them in a variation. Uh, you know, it's okay, but I think with this hookup, I think it's going to work a lot better. So I got that. And then we need flour okay I have onion uh, peppers I preferably like to use all different colored peppers from red green yellow orange I only got green and orange right now uh, milk okay butter and extra virgin olive oil. I have it in um, a bottle. So it's a spray bottle, you know, because I try to make sure that, you know, we love to eat healthy around here. So we, we try to attend on, you know, doing things in portion. So. Really? Who we want to sponsor? Oh, well, by the way, listen, I had T-Mobile for 10 years, 10 plus or us in combination, 10 plus years. Um, T-Mobile, I had picked this up during the free T-Mobile Tuesday. Listen, man, T-Mobile, whoever the CEO is, if y'all see us, sponsor us, because I, 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 I use your phones, I love the plans. I, I wouldn't go to anybody else, probably wouldn't for a long time. Um, and y'all, and one thing, y'all really support troops, and my yes, wife's daughter I is in the military. Yes, she is. So She's in the Navy. In the and Navy. Support, and y'all support senior citizens. Yes, they do. So yes, they do. I love it. So mm -hmm. support us. All right. Anyways, let's get to work in here. All right. All right. So we're going to start out with our sausage. I'm going to wash my hands because I haven't washed my hands yet, folks, so I'm going to wash my yep. hands. Yep, it's this important. is a bleach and vinegar mix that I did. I know I'm just over crazy about being clean, but it works and it's efficient. All right. 
Yes, it's very important to wash your hands. Um, at my job, I'm a safety champion, so, um, and I work in a kitchen um, as a catering, a lead catering attendant, so it's important to wash your hands whenever you're handling food. Um, it's very important to keep the germs and bacteria. Don't, uh, yep. Dawn is the best. Dawn is number one, numero uno. So while she's washing her hands, um, I know y'all subscribe to her. Um, I get to, to subscribe to me. I do gaming, but I'm also in the plans. This is probably a preview of what I'm really gonna do as the future is showing y'all what I what I can do. You know, how to cook, you know, and making things, you know, alternatively, like we are today with sausage, biscuits, and gravy. We're about to begin. Yes. So, we have our sausage. So, what I do is I want to cut them one at a time. So. Let's see if I can get in closer when you did. No, I can't. Okay. All right. Thought I could do it, folks, but I can't. Breaking them up into bits if you can't see them there, but he's breaking the sausage up into bits there. And knife safety. Be careful when you're using a sharp knife, you want to yes. make sure you're cutting your knuckles just should be out when you're cutting. Mm -hmm. uh, stress that out to a lot of people when you cut. Knuckles okay. knuckles out. There. I try to make these as small as small because we're making a gravy. You want the sausage to be, you know, light crumbles. You don't want the light crumbles. Yeah, you light don't crumbles. want the. Um, you know, I got the, the sausage to be giant. You know, because you don't want people to get choked. You know, when when they eat. Is gravy. <laughs> that would be funny. Somebody choking off a of piece. <laughs> Y'all didn't hear that. Y'all didn't hear that. Yeah, I was gonna say, you know, that is, that is not funny. <laughs> but um, yeah, but we want to make sure no one gets hurt. I think I'm gonna do it this way. Variants here. Don't forget, people, please subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to Raisin 3 in Philly. I would like your comments. And if you like this video, please let me know. Subscribe. Thanks. Meanwhile, we can preheat the oven for the biscuits. Okay. Yeah. All right, folks. I'm going to preheat the oven, okay? And I think the preheat we need to be is at 325. 
<laughs> and I'm trying to break these sausages up. Sometimes when you mess with a knife here, get patches over there. Mess up a little bit. Okay, I think. Cutting up a lot of meat there, folks. Yep. Usually, you know, they say this type of stuff takes time. You know, but it does. Because cooking is an art. But a lot of people don't know. Cooking is indeed an art. Like I was telling my wife, I said, you know, I said, I may not have to know how to put a decent painting together like she does. I know how to put a decent meal together. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, this is like art, people. This is like a form of art. So, I'm almost done here cutting this sausages here. And then the next thing we're going to do after we cut the sausages, we're going to... I'm gonna cut our vegetables too. But I think at the same time while those vegetables are being cut, I'll um, also get my pan ready. Remember people, be careful with your fingers. Do not want to cut them. Yes, I'm almost done people's only got one. And see, after cutting all them sausages, I'm not crumbles, but you know, but that's I'm trying to get it close to little bits. But that's what the sausage is gonna look like. Alright, All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is cut the onions. Cut the onions? Yeah. Well, we're gonna cut some crime for all right, now we're gonna cut the onions, as I said before, and I'm also, along with the onions, I'm gonna cut the peppers as well. So they're all gonna go in at the same time. So I like cut the onion because a lot of people cut onions in a certain way. I like to cut the top off as so, and then I'm doing uh, diced onions, so what I do is cut that end off and then I cut in between the root. Now, a lot of people, they cry when they do, uh, when they cut onions. But the only reason why you cry is because when you cut this root off, the juices spew out. And so when, the, when it spews out, guess what? You're going to be crying. And, uh, yeah, you'll have a... A sad day <laughs> cutting onions <laughs> so you don't want to cut that root off especially if you're going to do dice onions so I like cut it I start out cutting this way cutting close having cuts close to the root and Patches is going to make noise because every time I cut vegetables he makes the noise because he knows he, he knows when I'm cutting mm -hmm. anyways uh, so I cut it like so close to the root and now I'm gonna cut it this way and people wonder well how does people perfectly dice onions well there you go now there's some people that would do um, cuts like this I don't do cuts like that because it's already naturally diced. Look, see, look, see. You got diced, you got diced onion. See, it's all separated, so you don't need to do the extra um, dicing. 
Um, so as soon as I get close to the root, what I do is I do this cut here. See, sometimes if it's a little too hard, that means that skin is getting too dry. But yeah, you cut close to the root. Most times you, you're down to this much. See? And you don't and you're not wasting much off the onion. So I'm gonna do that, do the same thing with the other onion. And then I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna do dice peppers. And then when, when we get back, the next thing I'll do after that is we'll start uh, cooking these things on the pan. So I will be right back. All right. Alrighty, peoples, so welcome back. And uh, I've cut the onions and peppers on diced up, ready to go. Now, next thing I am going to do is to turn my pan on. Get it nice and hot. Um, really, you want to cook this on medium, medium high heat. Um, medium to high heat, y'all. Medium, medium, medium to high. high. Medium high. Oh, medium to medium high, okay? Not high. Not medium. high. Because um, we don't want to burn the house up. We don't want to burn. We don't want to burn. <laughs> so, again, I'm just waiting on the pan to heat up. Um, I'm going to spray some EVOO into the and EVOO is olive extra oil. virgin, extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin. Yes. Not just extra the regular virgin, virgin but olive extra oil. virgin olive oil. All right now. All right. Get it spread onto the pan. Wait for the pan to heat up that oil. And then as soon as I'm able to heat that oil is up, that, then that, we'll be able to to put together the sausage gravy recipe. So, this, this sausage smells interesting. Yes, I'm weird like that, people. Bear with me. If you watch my gaming channels, y'all know. <laughs> All right, so, waiting on the pan to be hot. Kids, don't do this at home. You don't want to put your hand, put the sausage on. We're gonna let that cook for a couple of minutes and then we're gonna add our peppers and onions combination. Stir it up in hands a bit. Everybody ain't hit Cody. Okay. Stuck onto the pan? Even though meats and 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 as a fact that has it has it has its own fat. But being that it's chicken sausages, chicken is usually lean. Chicken sausage. Oh. Yeah. Chicken is usually, usually lean. lean. Oh. So chicken sausages are usually lean. Yeah, these are probably these are lean sausages, I can tell. Oh, okay. I mean, not too much fat on them, but that's why I use some of the olive oil. It just needs help. Now, if you were using um, sausage, but like pork sausage, uh -huh. breakfast sausage, mm -hmm. you do not need oil. Oh, so you said if you were using pork sausage, you do not need oil. oil. 
probably a little bit. Not a little bit, but not a lot. Yeah, because the sausage bit. already has a lot of fat in it, so you know, mm. need for it to okay. be crunched like I did with this here. Mm -hmm. So I'm just constantly, you know, stirring this around, just trying to make sure it don't get stuck to the pan, I'm trying to get some sense of coloring here. So, all right, so what it's I'm doing here is so I'm just good, going yeah. to cook this it until, so good. I mean, it don't make no sense how good it smells. <laughs> I'm going to cook this until it browns up and then, and then I'll add the, um, well, I'm not going to cook it until it browns up because I need it to be about close to brownness, and then I'm going to add the onions and peppers. That's a real great. He knows the deal. He knows. Look like we're getting close to it. Yeah. So, to the brownie. Close to the brownness, so I'm going to add the onions and peppers in here. Believe it or not, people, my wife is very impressed with me on how I can cook. Um, she says it's like eating at home from a restaurant. <laughs> sure is. Hey, look at that. Look, look at that. See, and I like coloring in my my meals here. See, and if I had red pepper and yellow, I would have added some of that in here. Um, but that's okay, you know. Like I said, it's about being creative here. Now, the one thing I didn't mention was adding some some seasonings, because of course, why cook something and you don't add nothing to it? You know, I'm not a person that's bland. I I need that. I need that pop in my life. You see it. Pop. Okay, now. Yes. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna pull out. Ooh, you know, this is a good idea. This is why I said it's about being creative. I'm going to add a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes just to give it some little kick. My favorite. Um, I'm going to add, I don't know what she told y'all, but Add some garlic powder, a little bit. I know y'all wondering, what the heck? Where's the salt? Where's the pepper? <laughs> I'll add pepper. Most of my cookings don't consist of salt. But you don't need salt in this because guess what has salt already? Take a big guess and it starts starts with a letter S. So I'm going to add some pepper. So, sausage! Yes, sausage. It has salt content in it. A lot of people don't know that there's meats that got salt content in it. And some meats don't need... <coughs> excuse me. Don't need that content, that salt. Like, if you throw other... This is what I learned from my grandma, you know, because she, she, she majored in dietitian and chemistry in her, her years in college. I've learned how to cook from her. So she tells me, hey, you don't need to add salt, you know, lemonade salt, you know, and that's how, you know, you get, you get high blood pressure or, you know, hypertension. You know, you don't, you, you want to cut that out your 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 um your diet because you don't want salt. Salt's gonna kill you. Um, oh, 
shoot, doing something wrong here. Um, so next thing I'm gonna do, since this is already cooked up like crazy, we're gonna add. We're about to make the gravy now, everybody. So I'm gonna turn the fire down just a little bit since our sausage is pretty much cooked. So I'm gonna add. Hi folks, we're back. He's doing the next step. Stay in tune. All right, so I am going to add some flour into this. Um, probably about a uh, quarter of a cup. Mm. Quarter of a cup of flour. I think that's about a quarter of a cup. Maybe a little bit He said more. a quarter of a cup of flour. A quarter of a cup. Yeah, and then I'm going to mix that up in here with the now, some people... Now he's going to mix it up with what's in there. Mm -hmm. Along with the, with the peppers, onions, sausage. Along with the peppers, the onions, and the sausage, okay? I've already added butter into it. Um, so, y'all are going to be like, oh my goodness, look how messy that looks. It looks so flurry. I'm only about to get the end result in a minute. So... And the next thing I need to add, because I'm trying to make sure I get all the flour mixed in here well, next thing I'm going to add in here is the milk. Milk. Oh, okay. Yes. Because we're making our cream go in here. Um. This calls for about maybe close to two cups with me adding about a quarter of it because then what we got in here is two a creamy a creamy like gravy whoops some of that stuff fell out but flour out of it and you want to have this heating until it becomes a creamy substance as y'all can see it's it's getting there substance is turning orange which is a good thing because that's that makes it even more interesting I'm just going to clean off the pellets that I've got on the hand now we're trying to heat this up 